Are we ready, guys? We're, We're ready. ready. I'm ready, ready. Ready, ready, ready. Let's go have some fun. Let's go get on this show. Look, we're ready. The ship is right there. Right in hand. Just strolling on down the gangway. We are, okay. are Jump. almost yeah. on. First meal of the cruise is a guy's burger. Thank you, Mark. Good job. Yeah, this is a first for us. We're shuttling to port. We're cruising from Port Canaveral, so we're in Orlando, so we've got to take the shuttle a little over an hour uh, out to Port Canaveral to get on the body dog. It's been two years, a little over two years since we've been on the carnival ship. Looking forward to doing that. Looking forward to getting on it uh, with our great friends, David and Debbie. We're Absolutely. ready. I was ready yesterday. <laughs> We're getting close. We're getting close. We're about to get on the shuttle. I'm pretty sure everybody on this bus is going to be in a good mood. Ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. Ready to get on this ship. The big bad Mardi Gras. Here we come. We haven't been on Carnival in two years. And it's the brand new Mardi Gras. And it's only the second sailing of Mardi Gras. So this is pretty stinking cool. I'm excited. I'm really excited. Okay, so now we have a boarding pass that's printed instead of digital. <laughs> We are officially checked in. We've been through security. So the reason that they won't allow a digital is because they have to put a stamp on it showing you're checked in, and this is what gets you on the cruise ship. So that's why you have to have a printed boarding pass. We're ready. The ship is right there. Boarding pass in hand. This is exciting. Have fun. <laughs> Time for the gangway dance. The gangway dance. Here we go. Are we ready? Gangway dance. Gangway dance. My gangway dance. Just strolling on down the gangway. Going that way to the ship. First time we're all seeing the room for the very first time right now. First thing's off with this mask right now. Ah man, the room is nice. Oh yeah. You'll love that balcony. Spray. Okay. If you're lucky enough to get some rough water, spray is gonna be great. Alright, so it's time to do our mustard drill. We watch a video on the TV. Then we go downstairs to our muster station, they scan our card, and go from there. But that's, I love, love, love the new muster situation. So much better than it used to be. The Flying Scotsman. It's good to hear his voice over on the intercom. Now that's a cruise director, folks. Wow, this ship is 
This is gonna be it's gonna be wild to explore all this. So we are going to our muster station right now to get that completed. And then we were off. Right here. We found the right oh you got Hey, hello, welcome on board. Is this live TV? Mama, I'm here, I'm good. <laughs> We're doing great. Welcome aboard to Mardi Gras. All right, so we got Jason and Alicia. Yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. You guys are good to go. The thing you have to do, you just gotta go right there with my friend in the green shirt. He's gonna show you how to put a life jacket on. Once that's done, you guys are good to go. All right, perfect. I'm gonna scan the next one. There you go, Deborah. and All right, I love the new mustard process. One of the good things to come out of this pandemic is no long mustard drills anymore. This is how it should be. Okay. Right, you're good to go. Okay. Hey, we are at Guy's Burgers for the first meal of the cruise, and there's no line to get a burger. Yay! Because typically there's a huge line to get a burger, so let's go. First meal of the cruise is a guy's burger. That is awesome. So, we were just in Vegas and we went to Guy's restaurant and I paid $24 for a burger. And this one is better. Like, seriously, this one is better. The fries are better. Go Carnival. So I'm gonna do mine boneless. They gave it to me with a bun. I forgot to say boneless, but they will give it to you boneless. David got one boneless. That's what, usually what I do. Guys burgers can go bottomless too. Yep, bottomless, <laughs> yeah. boneless. You can. You don't just need to take off the top. Or topless. You know, that is just a good burger patty. It's straightforward. It's nothing like super fancy or nothing, but it's it's cooked right. It's got a great uh, melted cheese on it. I love the shredded lettuce for some reason, and I love the, the really thin onions. I, bought, I got me some uh, mushrooms. I got me some caramelized onions, pickles, no tomato, not in the mood for tomato. It's awesome. A little ketchup, a little mustard. Got me a little meat salad here. Mmm. And the patties, they're not over salted. That's good. Man, it's been a long time since we had a guy's burger. And it tastes just like I remember. Delicious. You know, you gotta like the shop cows. Okay? That's pretty cool. You don't get some stupid little rinky dink paper towel. No, you get a shop rat. Right? This guy Fieri rocks. He's a cool guy. He knows what's up. Take it from one guy who cooks. It's important. But anyway, I love that on the Mardi Gras, they made Guy's Brother Joy more of its own entity. It's it's like a full size restaurant in here. It's more seating. It's it's got its own space. Whereas in the other ships, it's part of the Lido deck kind of pool area, which was cool too. But I like to see its own space out here, and it does it does have some waterfront too. Well, welcome to our cabin. We have something that's different, and I think Carnival is the only cruise line that does these cove balconies. But this is a cove balcony cabin. So on the inside, it looks like just like any other balcony cabin. We'll show you the cove in a little bit. 
But check out this room. So this is the new Mardi Gras, totally new layout of uh, the rooms, new decor, and I love the colors in here. So it's light blues and tans and turquoise, and it feels like the ocean has come into your room. I really like that. So of course we have a nice bed. Comfy. Tons of storage underneath. So if you've got like, I've seen people with super duper lots of luggage, you got plenty of room underneath there for that. There are controls for the lights right on the headboard, and also there are reading lamps on each side. So that's pretty cool. So this is pretty cool. The vanity stool serves also as like a coffee table if you need it, or a storage bin. So the lid comes off and there's a lot of storage in there or so you can flip it over like this and use it as a table when you're sitting at the sofa so that's a new design I haven't seen that before and I really like it this area over here is the vanity area you have a lot of space on the counter surface and don't worry about plugs, there are three regular plugs and four USBs. So you can plug in all your phones, tablets, computers, camera gear, everything right here. That's probably the most plugs I've ever seen in a cruise ship cabin. You have shelves up here for storage as well. Here's your phone. And there's a QR code right here for the menu. So instead of the traditional um, room service menu, you're going to scan a QR code and look at it on the Hub app. So that's pretty neat. Down below here is the mini bar, and it is empty. Let's see if I can open it. It's empty. Pretty cool. Not cold, but cool. So you can bring your own sodas aboard, and you can put them in here to keep them cold. And then we have drawers. I love drawers and a cruise ship. All about drawers. Look at all that storage space. And here is your little bag of a hair dryer. In case you were wondering where that was. I like that. Okay, typically on a cruise ship, I'm going to say, oh yeah, there's closets. But we're going to show you the inside of these closets because these are different than any closets I've ever seen before. There's a ton of storage in here and the way they're configured is really nice. You've got your hanging, you've got shelves, traditional side over here. But this side of the closet is different. On this side, basket drawers, basket drawers. This whole bottom pulls out, perfect for shoes. And then here, you can either choose to have more hanging space or you flip this down and you've got more shelf space. So you can choose to configure this how you want. That's cool. And the bathroom. Now, the bathroom layout is a little different. I like the way they've done the layout. And I know you've heard me say it before, ladies, a little foot step up in the shower is a big deal. And they put it on the ship. You got elbow room around the toilet. Mm -hmm. It's got its own little space. Uh, I mean, it's really functional. Yeah, the way they did this, the shower is much bigger in this cabin than previous Carnival ships. So I really like that layout. It's more of a rectangle than a square. It works better. We're getting our balcony back. Finally! So this is an LNG ship, and so they have to reload the liquefied natural gas. and. Whenever we got into our room, there was this massive boat in front of our room, and that was the refueling station. So we couldn't go out on our balcony. Our balcony actually like had a, a door closed locking us in. Oh, baby dolphins. So we're finally able to access our balcony. And first impressions, it's small. Um, so what's interesting is the door swings out. So nothing can be in this space. So they've got the table sitting in the chair. So then once you come out, you can be right in my and it's uh, this is crazy. Okay, so as I was saying before the announcement, <laughs> You've got your two chairs and your table out here, but how they're configured is the table is sitting inside of the chair 
because you got to be able to open the door out. So I don't think that planning was very good. I think the door should open in maybe. I don't know. So when you come out here, you can put your table where you want it. But then if you want to go in, you got to put your table back in your chair. It's small. It's small. You can use this as your footstool. <laughs> so for short people, it works great. I like being close to the water. That's what I, I like. Too. That's what I like. Because we saw dolphins. Yes, we did. Where did they go? Chances are we wouldn't have saw them if we were up there. Yeah. All right. Let's go wander the Mardi Gras. Sounds good. We've just figured out what it is. It's the open door instead of the sliding glass. Agreed. Sliding glass doors, people. Come sliding, on. And then we've got this whole like dead wall space where if it was a sliding glass door, this would be one big giant open space. So come on. When you're designing these ships, sliding glass doors. I feel like we're <laughs> complaining, but we're really not. We're really not. It's, it's just, just an, an observation. observation. <laughs> Bye. Overall, I really like the room. I think it's real edgy and modern. It looks really, really good. Um, love the colors, very soothing, very Caribbean uh, vacation feeling. Um, love the lighted mirrors or illuminated mirrors. And I even like the carpet. I know, me too. I like the picture. <laughs> I feel this room makes me feel happy. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Carnival. Good job. Loving the Mardi Gras so far. And we've only seen that much of it, so let's go see some more. Let's go. Let's go explore. Dinner time, let's go. <laughs> Deck eight. Pig and Anchor Smokehouse. So right now during the inaugural sailings, inaugural season of Mardi Gras, some of the specialty dining restaurants that would normally cost an extra fee are open at no extra charge. So, and tonight there is a special that is a barbecue filet mignon, which Jason wants to get. I think I'm gonna do the same thing I did at Q last week and do like the, the sampler platter. Um, and we've been challenged that we need to compare Q on NCL versus the Smokehouse on Carnival. Oh, I bet so it's no contest. We will no see. Contest. We will Dying. see which it's we Dying. like best. Oh, we're going to try. I got the sampler platter, so I've got brisket, chicken, pulled pork, mac and cheese, baked beans, and coleslaw. And they bring it on a literal platter. So when they say it's a sampler platter, it's a sampler platter. 
But I gotta figure out what sauce I wanna try too, because we've got all these sauces to choose from. Burning tomatoes. Yeah, I'm thinking the smoky chipotle is gonna be my sauce of choice just by the name. Hold pork first. Okay, good pulled pork. Try the brisket and I'm gonna get Jason to try the brisket too. Did you dip it? Mm-hmm. It's good. Is it as good as Q? Perfect. Yeah, I actually like it better without any sauce on it. Alright. Now the chicken. Because chicken can either be really dry or really good. Okay. Chicken underneath the skin. The chicken itself is not bad. It's a little on the dry side. It's a solid meal. But if we're gonna do a straight comparison, because we were told to do a comparison to Q. Sorry, hands down Q wins. Why are you following us? in the house. <laughs> <laughs>